Greetings, everyone. Welcome to ENE Learning Hub, where I'm going to go through and explain the solutions for questions related to rectify circuits and power supply. But before I begin, I'm going to ask those of you who have not yet subscribed to the channel to do so, to like the videos, to share with others, especially those who are doing CSEC electrical. All right, so let's begin. So this is question 10 from the 2014 past people. Part A, it says figure seven shows the schematic drawings of four rectifier circuits labeled one, two, three, and four. All right, so this is figure seven, the schematic drawings of four rectifier circuits. Here we have number one, number two, number three, and number four. So part one of A, it says in your answer booklet, write the numbers one, two, three, and four. Next to each number, write the name of the rectifier circuit indicated. All right, so at number one, we have the off-wave rectifier circuit. At number two, we have the center top rectifier circuit. Number three, we have the bridge rectifier circuit. And at number four, we have the voltage doubler rectifier circuit. All right, so that's it for part one of A. Part of A, it says briefly explain the operation of the rectifier circuit labeled two in figure seven. All right, so I'm gonna use the diagram to explain how it works. All right, so when terminal A is positive with respect to terminal B, diode D1 will conduct in forward bias, while diode D2 is in reverse bias. As a result of diode D1 in forward bias, current will flow from the secondary side of the transformer through terminal A, through diode D1, through the load resistor, through terminal C, and back to the transformer. So that's how current will flow. All right, so that's it for when terminal A is positive with respect to terminal B. All right, so let's look at it from when terminal B is positive with respect to terminal A. All right, so let me clear the screen. Now, when terminal B is positive with respect to terminal A, diode D2 is now forward bias while diode D1 is reverse bias. Current will flow from the secondary side of the transformer through terminal B, through diode D2, through the load resistor, through terminal C, and back to the transformer. And that's how the center top rectifier circuit operates. All right, so that's it for part two of E. All right, so let me clear the screen. For part three of A, it says briefly explain the operation of the rectifier circuit labeled four in figure seven. So I'm gonna use the diagram to explain how this circuit works. All right, so when terminal B is positive with respect to terminal A, diode D1, 
is forward bias while diode D2 is reverse bias. So current will flow from the secondary side of the transformer through terminal B through diode D1 to the capacitor and charge it to the maximum voltage of the secondary side of the transformer and current will flow through terminal A and back to the transformer. Current will not flow this way. So D2, and that's because D2 is a reverse bias. So it will block the current flow. So that's how this circuit operates when terminal B is positive with respect to terminal A. All right, so let me clear the screen. When terminal A is positive with respect to terminal B, diode D1 is now reverse bias, while diode D2 is forward bias. Now, keep in mind that when diode D1 was forward bias, capacitor C1 was charged to the maximum voltage value of the secondary side of the transformer. Now that terminal A is positive with respect to terminal B, current will flow from the secondary side of the transformer to the capacitor. The capacitor will now charge to twice the voltage of the secondary side of the transformer and current will continue to flow through diode D2 to so, capacitor C2 and the capacitor C2 will charge to twice the voltage of the secondary side of the transformer and current will continue to flow all the way through terminal B and back to the transformer. And that is how this circuit is able to double the voltage, hence the name, voltage doubler rectifier circuit. All right, so that's it for part three of A. For part B, it says figure eight shows the schematic join of a low voltage DC power supply unit the components of the power supply are labeled 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Part 1 of B, it says in your answer booklet, write the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Next to each number, write the name of the electronic component indicated. All right, so number 1, that's the secondary winding of the transformer. Number two, that's the bridge rectifier circuit that consists of diodes. Number three, that's the capacitor. Four, resistor. Five, that's another capacitor. And six, that's another resistor. All right, so that's it for part one of B. For part two, it says briefly explain the operation of the component labeled three in the schematic drawing in figure eight. All right, so this is the component that is labeled three and that's the capacitor, all right? So this is how the capacitor operates. So when a voltage is across the terminals of the capacitor, the metal plate that is connected to the positive side of the source will have a movement of free electrons from that plate to the positive terminal, therefore leaving only positive charges on that plate. All right, so that's a brief explanation of how the capacitor operates. All right, so that's it for this question. Now let's move on to the next question. So that is question five from the 2015 past paper. It says, figure five shows the schematic drawing of a full wave rectifier 
with a center tap transformer. So this is figure five, the full wave rectifier with center tap transformer. Part A, it says in your answer booklet, write the numbers one, two, three, and four. Next to each number, write the name of the circuit component identified by the symbols in the schematic diagram. All right, so number one, that's the primary winding of the transformer. Number two, that's the core of the transformer. Number three, that's the diode. And number four, that's the resistor. All right, so that's it for part A. For part B, it says with the aid of a sketch, briefly describe the flow of conventional current in the rectifier when part one of B, terminal A is positive in respect to terminal B in the secondary winding of the transformer. All right, so here's the diagram. When terminal A is positive, with respect to terminal B, diode D2 is reverse bias while diode D1 is a forward bias. So current will flow from the secondary side of the transformer through terminal A, through diode D1, through the resistor, through terminal C and back to the transformer. All right, so that's it for part one of B. Part two of B, it says when terminal B is positive with respect to terminal A in the secondary winding of the transformer. All right, so when terminal B is positive with respect to terminal A, diode D1 is now reverse bias while diode D2 is forward bias. So current will flow from the secondary side of the transformer through terminal B, through diode D2, through the resistor, through terminal C, and back to the transformer. So that's it for part two of B. And that's it for this question. Now let's move on to the next question. So that is question 10 from the 2015 class paper. It says figure 11 shows the connection join of a low voltage DC supply unit. Part one of A, it says in your answer booklet, write the letters A, B, C, D, and E. Next to each letter, write the name of the electronic component in the connection drawing. So at A, that's the fuse. At B, that's the transformer. At D, that's a capacitor. At C, that's an inductor. And at E, that's a resistor. All right, so that's it for part one of A. For part two of A, it says name three types of rectifier circuits used in the construction of low voltage DC supply units. So the three types of rectifier circuits are off-wave rectifier circuit, bridge rectifier circuit, and center top rectifier circuit. All right, so that's it for part two of A. For part B, it says uh, briefly describe the purpose of the components A, B, C, and D in the operation of the low voltage DC supply unit. So A, that's the fuse. So the fuse is a device that is used to provide overcurrent protection. B, the transformer. The transformer is a device that is used to step down the voltage to the required level. C, the inductor. So it is used to prevent a sudden change in current. And D, the capacitor. It is used to smooth out the pulsating DC ripple. 
All right, so that's it for part B and that's it for these questions.